Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kasi Salapan. I am a consultant at Create Fertility in Bangalore. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the common topics which is intrauterine insemination or IUI. I am going to talk about what is IUI, why is it done and who are suitable candidates for IUI, the cost of IUI and its success rates in this video. Come on, let's jump into the video. IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. By saying so, the man's sperm which is obtained as a masturbated sample is processed in our labs. We remove all the debris and pick out only the good motile sperms. Once these sperms are picked up, these sperms are inserted via a very small fine catheter which looks like a finer version of a straw and it's inserted into the uterus and the sperms are deployed there. From there on, it's up to the sperms to take up a journey towards the egg to fertilize it and create an embryo. Now, talking about in who is it done, we can do an IUI procedure in someone who has got no problems whatsoever, let it be on the male front or the female front. As well as, we can consider an IUI procedure when there are mild sperm abnormalities. Other indications will also include the inability to have a sexual intercourse. And if the lady were to suffer from any ovulation problems such as polycystic ovaries, we can certainly consider an intrauterine insemination procedure by making her ovulate. Looking at the prerequisites for an intrauterine insemination procedure, first of all, we would like to see a semen analysis which has got a decent amount of motile sperms and a decent sperm volume. When it comes to the female counterpart, we also advise on getting their fallopian tubes checked through a test called HSG which stands for hysterosalpingogram. In this test, we try and ascertain if both the fallopian tubes are patent. I have also done a separate video on HSG which is given in the description link below. In women who have regular periods and who ovulate regularly, there is also a possibility that we can do an insemination procedure without giving them any medications. Literature talks about varying success rates but the common accepted range would be somewhere between 10 to 15 percent per cycle. There is a range here and the range might differ somewhere between 5 to 16,000 rupees depending on the center you visit. The cost is also dependent on whether the sperms are going to be purified once or twice. Once is called a single insemination whereby the sperms are purified on only one occasion and inserted on one occasion whereas in a double insemination procedure sperms will be purified on two consecutive days and inserted on two different occasions. If at all you were to have any questions regarding the intrauterine insemination procedure, my email is given below and I'd be more than happy to answer them if you can write to my email address. Thank you very much and good luck.